Investments Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. This week, Executive Chef Dylan Foster with Wicked Tuna Restaurant in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina, thewickedtuna.com. Dylan, what do you got for me today, man? Today, we're going to do a special take on our Ocean Prime dish at the, at the restaurant. It's one of our most popular dishes. It's one that we get to use a lot of different types of fish because of our yeah. fishing company. Okay. So that's what we're going to start with today. So we're going to go with the scorpion fish. I'm going to get this down in this hot pan. Oh, wow. Hear that sizzle. So this mm. fish, Bob... Like I said, it's called a scorpion fish. Okay. This is a fish that most people have never seen before because it doesn't leave our fish house. We get it and we hold on to it because it's such a good eating fish. Well, it doesn't leave. We don't get that many of them. We get about one, one a boat. That is that ugly homer right there. The scorpion fish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so it, it lies on the bottom. Yeah. And it lives in the rocks and the corals. So that's why it looks like a piece of rock or coral. Listen. And when a little fish swims past it, you, opens its mouth and guys, sucks them right in. You guys that cook food come up with the dangest thing. Yep. Who would ever thought about a scorpion fish? Okay. All right, so. We've got our scorpion fish working here. We're going to add a little chopped garlic. Okay. Who doesn't love a little chopped garlic, right? Yeah. We're going to add some roots, some vegetables. We've got squash, zucchini, carrots there. A little salt and pepper action. Now, we're filming on location at yes. Lee's Farmer's Market, and yes. I know that Ed and Skeeter and all the guys over at Lee's Farm. These vegetables came yeah. home today. Yes, yeah, they, they did. did. Okay. They started their journey to yeah, be here, growing just down the street. <laughs> Here we go. Fish is up. Fish is up. So Here's let me have plate. this, Mr. Bob. Thank you very All right, much. Man. All right, well, plating this, we're going to start with a little cauliflower puree. Oh, wow. All right, so mm. we just take some cauliflowers, we steam them up, mix in with some. And folks, again, if you want a copy of Dylan's recipe, it'll be on bobredford.com. Go to the sportsman's table. And you really want to taste it for yourself, come on down to Merle's Inlet, stop by the Wicked Tuna, and you can have. Mm. Let's put those this vegetables dish. in that in that flavor bowl again. Oh wow! All right, and we're gonna put some some blue cheese cream. This is a fresh blue cheese cream that we that we make there at the restaurant. Cream, gorgonzola, all the good things that make life worth living. Oh my goodness! Mm. Put that there on the bottom of the plate. Little bed for our fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who would not like a bed of? A bed of blue cheese. That's true. It's a good bed to me. Yeah. Now here we have a, we call this our prime topping, and it's prime because it's got all the best ingredients, in my opinion, from the ocean. Okay. We've got lobster, spiny lobster out of here, out of here of South Carolina. We've got jumbo lump crab. Oh my goodness. That we catch there in the inlet. Mm. You know, you I'm going to have to stop together. by the restaurant and get one of these for yeah. myself. Mm. And then we would normally put a little Parmesan on top of that. Okay. We would normally throw this pan right into the broiler to melt that. But since we don't have a broiler here, I brought my ah, friend the torch, because who doesn't like playing with fire okay. yeah. on a Wednesday morning? And we're just going to get a little color here on top. Mm, look at that. I guess folks at home will have to put it in the broiler. <laughs> yeah. They would have to do that. Yeah. So that just kind of what solidifies that topping up there? The cheese? Yeah. The cheese is just delicious. The topping is, you don't really want the topping to be a, a cake. Oh, See, ours okay. is a little, I got it's a, a very runny crab cake consistency ah, is what we have. And I if got it's you. a little too thick for you, right. you just put a little heavy cream in it, loosen it up. You can make it as thick or as thin as you like. You could actually take the same recipe and minimize the liquid that's in there. Oh, wow. And make a cake out of it, make like a sandwich. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna put this right here on top. And you know, one of the, the things that I've noticed about the scorpion fish is it takes a little longer for that to cook. A little bit, it's a, it's a very dense fish. It's very, very yeah. flaky, but it is, it is a little dense. It is a little dense. So let's turn this off so we don't burn that one. Okay. And we got that off. Yeah, we got that off good. there as well. And now to finish plating, we're gonna take a little bit of a balsamic reduction. Okay. We're just going to give that a little, ah, a little, a little, a little, little love there. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Again, a little microgreens because we eat with our eyes first. That's true. And that is our ocean prime with scorpion fish. Wow, Dylan, that is fabulous, man. I'm telling you. Thank you very much. Wicked Tuna yes, Restaurant, sir. Burles Inlet, thewickedtuna.com. Log on. If you'd like more great food just like this, if you're coming to South Carolina, come on over to Merle's Inlet. Stop by this guy probably in the back. He'll be able to get you some great food. And log on to CertifiedSCGrown.com and see what's fresh on the menu for yourself. Each and every week, the Sportsman's Table is bringing a great cook, chef, you name it, just like this guy. We'll be back again next week with another great recipe. We'll see you then. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Buy Certified South Carolina Grown Products. It's a matter of taste.